This segment is being brought to you by Tennessee Wildlife Resources Agency. Join us in preserving and protecting Tennessee's wildlife. All right, welcome back everyone. You can call us here at the show right now at 615-737-7767. We'll be glad to take your phone calls and talk to you a little bit. If you got any questions about bow hunting season or your equipment, well, we got the man here, so this is a great time to call. Till those calls start coming in, we, we, we've got all these trail cam cameras out here. Uh, Gander Mountain and Moultrie have taken one step forward, I believe, in that this module right here, Greg, allows them to receive the pictures to their cell phone by email. It actually, uh, Moultrie has a, a mobile site that oh, you go an to, app? yeah, and you download the app and just download it. the app right. and it comes off of that. Yeah. So even at night when this thing's taking pictures and they're sending them to you. Oh yeah, you can wake up a pretty happy man. <laughs> <laughs> or you can be at work, get a picture, and then suddenly get real sick. You get real sick and yeah. have to leave. <laughs> Time to go. <laughs> now you're the manager. How are you going to deal with that? <laughs> it's going to leave me. <laughs> yeah. Look great that, That's all right. But now, this is this is uh, about a two hundred dollar retail item. Mm -hmm. And it will work with. All these different cameras that we have up here right now. Yes, all Plus three of them. a couple that you guys were talking about also. Yeah. That you can buy, but you can actually buy. You said, Greg, last year's model. If you bought last year's model of camera, this. it's compatible with this unit. Correct. And you don't have to go out and buy a a six hundred dollar camera that sends pictures to your cell phone. You, like I was telling you earlier, we have one there that's sixty dollars. That you can connect to that mobile modem and it'll send pictures to your cell phone. Yeah, it's great. Mm -hmm. So you're talking about less than 300 bucks. Uh, you got a camera that's going to wake you up in the middle of the night and you're going, my goodness, <laughs> 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 I need to be in the woods. <laughs> and also we carry a little, uh, little device where you put your SD card into it and put it into your cell phone. If you have an iPhone, it'll go in there and uh, I bought one, Greg bought one. You know how usually if you go to the woods, you, if you may not have a, um, you have to take them home. IPad or, yeah. Take an iPad or something with you. Well, yeah. this thing is probably just about, I think, two in, one by two inches, and you stick your SD card into it, and download your pictures while you're in the woods, save them, and you can delete everything on the card and put it back in your camera and go on. Or you can save those pictures and learn which tree I need to be in come opening morning. Right. <laughs> and uh, but, but that thing's only twenty four ninety nine. What? Yeah. Now does it attach to your phone? Yeah, or? you just actually yeah, we got I was gonna here. bring you one, but we were sold out of that one, but we have one here for the which one's that one for? It's for the Android or Samsung Galaxy. Yeah, where's that one at? Grab it and uh, that's for the Android. Okay, okay. So let's show this right now. If we can, I don't know if I got it. Just there we go. Now, now, what does it do? Now you can put it with. This is for your Android camera. Yeah, um, for your phone. phone. Yeah. yeah, you just plug it in, put the SD card into it. It's an app. You download. It takes about three minutes to download. It don't cost you a dime. And when you download, it, then when you go to the woods, you put the SD card in into it, and you just your pictures will automatically pop up on that app. You just save them, and like I say, you can save them to your phone. So you have all the pictures on there, or you can sort through them, delete them out, whatever you want to do with them. I was going to go get me some barbecue for $25, but I think I'll go get this. <laughs> <Yep. laughs> this is even, this is better. Yeah, that's a good deal. <laughs> that's a great deal. And, and it, so you got them for Android, you got them for... Got them for the iPhone. iPhones and mm -hmm. all the, is it just about every one of Samsung's and... Well, that one pretty much covers every other phone that's okay. not an iPhone. Right. It does, it does, yeah. it says that. That's it's, neat. It's a lot easier to carry that in your pocket than an iPad or yeah, or, a laptop or one of those, you know, or the, the big uh, viewer picture. or the big viewer picture viewer. Right. So this is even easier. This is great, great deal. Gander Mountain, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this is back here by the archery department, isn't it? Yes, it is. So go back here. Just follow the signs to the archery department if you're interested. This is where it'll be on the right hand side of the archery department, up against the wall, right? Yep. Correct. See. 
I know all this. I've been <laughs> <laughs> but you got this is this is the 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 remote unit we're talking about that sends the pictures. This is a, we showed this, this is a GM 800i, which is the invisible infrared. Now, what is the GM 80 XT? It's your plain Jane, eight megapixel. It doesn't have invisible IR. Um, sometimes the trade-off with having the invisible IR is you lose some feet as far as how far it'll grab a picture. See, now people need to know that. But yeah. What would you say the range is on the on the invisible? Uh, that'd be that one, 70 feet. My seventy feet's a lot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I th I was thinking thirty, but you s that's now, over double. That that camera reaches out and touches them. It does, <laughs> doesn't it? It does. Okay, so the eighty gives you a flash, so you can see a little bit further. Correct. Do you think that really scares off the animals? I, because I constantly see them hanging around. It, it don't affect mine. I think mine like getting the picture taken. Yours thinks they're in a discotheque, yeah. don't they? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they got that ball going around. In the way. Yeah, if you go if you go to one of my stands uh, after dark, it, a lot of flashing going on. <laughs> a lot of flashing going on. <laughs> and, well, now we're talking about the good flash. Yeah, you know? yeah. <laughs> we're talking about the good flash. All right, now the, the the last camera here that you have. Yeah, that one's new for this year. The okay, GM30F. what is it? Now what does it do? Well, it's a package deal. It comes with an SD card, comes with the batteries, it comes ready to go. You can buy that one, you don't have to buy all the extra stuff and go. But it's also got 14 megapixels. Okay, now for us old folks, uh, 8 megapixel means it's a little duller image, am I right? Correct. 14 megapixel means a sharper image, yeah, the like more megapixels HD. you get. Yeah. Yeah, it's really clear. I have two of those cameras. I noticed you're laughing about my example here, Greg. <laughs> well, yeah, I have that camera too, and it takes very good pictures. All right, we got a couple of callers here. Let's go with uh, Mike. Mike, how can we help you tonight? Hey, you. I got a question or two to ask, if you don't mind. My sure. question is, uh, do you think uh, in the future that you guys will have any footage of fishing, like with a video? or deer hunting or something like that. And I'm, my other question I have to ask, the general manager that you have there from Granger Mountain, I would like to know if he would be interested in helping me over my church. We minister to the homeless in Nashville every Saturday, and we're uh, giving them out tents and stuff like that, and I'd like to know if he can maybe give us a discount or donate us some. And my other question, I hate asking right quick, uh, later on, I'm wanting to do like a big wild game dinner at Opryland Hotel to raise money for a building that we're trying to get for them where we can house them and help them get jobs and education. I'd like to know if they might want to partner up with us and donate us some things or maybe be like one of our sponsors for that night. And uh, okay. I'll hang up and I'll thank you for your time. Thank you very much, Mike, and we'll answer that. Yeah, uh, I'll answer that. Um, just Mike, just give me a call at the store. Come by and see me one day. We do a lot of things with the community, and uh, we're very involved in a lot of different organizations. So uh, just come by, and we'll see what we can do about that. Okay. And to answer your first part of your question, Mike, we are presently looking for an editor to edit our videos here at Southern Woods and Waters. And we put that out on the air, so if anybody's interested in maybe helping us out, become an editor, uh, getting into the fishing world and the hunting world, we'd love to talk to you about that uh, capability right here with Southern Woods and Waters. We have tons of footage, we just don't have an editor to get it out there for us. So we're in desperate need. We'd love to have somebody that's interested uh, that would like to grow into that hunting world or fishing world. So uh, be able to get a hold of us through our website at southernwoodsandwaters.com. We'll be glad to respond to that. Okay, our next next uh, caller is Bruce. Bruce, how can we help you tonight? Yeah, you know, I was, uh, I was remembering here back that uh, we had a uh, distance that you could still feed deer like 200 yards, but you couldn't hunt no closer than that. Is that still in effect? And the other question is, uh, if I buy one of those trail cameras, will Gander Mountain give me one t-shirt? And I'll listen to you <laughs> after the question. All right, Bruce, hold, we'll be right back to you. Hold on a minute, let's see. Well, I'll tell you what, come by and see me, and uh, I don't really have a t-shirt right now, but I do have a hat I'll give you. There you go, there you go. That's, that's even better, Bruce. But uh, to answer your, your first question, 
Uh, let me be clear about this. The all feed and all corn and all grains have to be up exactly 14 days before season. Now you can still use things as long as it's primarily salt or uh, which is a mineral salt, you can use that as an attractant. But uh, to have a feeder out there with any type of feed, does not matter what distance it is from you, the way the law reads is, is that they can prove if a game warden can show that that animal's going to you or away from you, you're guilty. And that's, it's bottom line, that's it. So if it's in the furthest corner of your 600 acres and you're on the front corner, if they still believe that he came from that area or going to that area whenever you shot him, you're guilty. So the best thing to do is do what I do. 14 days before season, that stuff is gone. And get rid of it. Matter of fact, I, I'm so close to season now, it's a no, don't even replenish. <laughs> Just let it. Let the crows, the squirrels, and the turkeys take care of everything else. Hopefully get it cleaned up. But uh, check it out. 14 days before season, it has to be off the ground, okay? Hope that helps you out. You got anything else to add about stuff like that? Because y'all sell feeders, y'all, and you sell a lot of them. We do, and uh, you know, and right now, you know, something else we haven't spoke about tonight is, uh, you know, it's, it's getting close to time to start putting some food plots in too. You bet. And, you know, and so we started out, you know, early in the summer. You know, we started out with minerals, salt, and everything, and uh, trophy rocks, and getting those deer in there, and you know, so that's good when they're growing, their antlers are growing. Yep. And now it's time we got to start thinking about, you know, later in the season when it gets cold and there's nothing out there for them to eat. So and they're going to be looking for something. Oh, yeah. So, you know, I encourage everybody to start planting some uh, food plots here in the now next Now, what do you weeks. recommend? I mean, because you know, I guess each hunter's got his own little they secret do. recipe. They do. And uh, there's a lot of different things you can buy. Uh, I found out about any of them. They'll eat all of it. So I don't know one's oh, yeah. better than the other. Yeah. Some people like clover. Uh, Greg, you have a preference on that? I mean, there's a well, lot of different ones. We do on our website. We're not in the store right now. We sell a soil sample test kit. Yeah. Right. And you can, it's made by Whitetail Institute. You can go ahead and take a soil sample, go ahead and ship it off to them, and they will actually send you what they think or what they know will be productive in in your area, yeah, in, in your soil and stuff. Yeah, yeah. and it, it all depends too on whether or not you want to plant a perennial food plot, something that's going to be year round, or something that you're going to replenish right. year to year. Year to year. And and I got to throw my two cents in. I like the radishes. Yeah. For some reason, they really are harping on those radishes, and it's just, it's a different thing. Now, uh, I can't grow sugar beets because we don't have enough sandy soil to. To, to do that, but the soil that we do have, uh, the river bottoms and stuff like that, radishes do really, really well. Mm -hmm. So you might want to give that a, an opportunity. Hey, we got to do our tip of the week, so let's go to it right now. This week's tip of the week is being brought to you by those fine folks over there at Davidson County Farmers Co-op. They're off there off of Dickerson Road. Go by and check them out. Scott and that bunch of fine folks will be glad to help you out. They can help you uh, with your chickens, your rabbits, and your squirrels and everything else. So go by and check them out there. Uh, they're on Dixie Road. Davidson County Farmers Co-op. And Greg, what do you have for us for a tip of the week? I asked you to come up with something. What do you got? Practice. Get yeah. out and shoot your bow. Get and in an elevated position. That's what I want to talk about, too, is the elevated position. And, that, and just quickly, just a little quick tip, if you're shooting uh, extremely high uh, on your target, or, or I'm sorry, extremely low on some of your targets, it may be because you're not bending at the waist. If you're in an elevated position, don't tilt your bow and change your, your uh, anchor points, which nose, mouth, hands behind the jaw, don't change your anchor points there. If you'll make it come straight out with your bow and then tilt it to waist, you'll hit it every time. You'll hit your mark mm -hmm. every time. So great, great tips for you right there that'll help you become a better shooter. We're going to take a break. When we come back, Joy's done it again. This time, she opened up the sweet tooth thing. You're going to like this. Hurry back to more Southern Woods Waters. <laughs> 